The guy who is doing the muscle ups right now is Abdul Al Qasimi. As you can see, he has almost no inertia. His body is on one level. His legs are not moving forward. And this sway is minimal. It is just enough to make an impulse. This is exactly what explosive power looks like. And for Abdul, this kind of muscle ups is the norm, as the main focus of his training has been on learning dynamic elements. To train explosive power, Abdul trained in low repetition mode and also used weights that he hung on his belt. And when his muscle became as perfect with weights as without them. Of course, this had a positive effect on his explosive power. I couldn't resist making 20 second snippet of this guy's elements. We talked about how exactly to train explosive power in this video. Today we want to show you where and what it is used for and why you should be careful in such training. Let's take weightlifting for example. To throw someone's deadlift like that you need unreal explosive power. And this sport fits perfectly within the frames of today's episode. Because explosive power is the main characteristics of weightlifters. According to Newton's second law, the magnitude of the force acting on a body is equal to the product of the mass of the body. By the acceleration the body receives when the force begins to act on it. Or just to put it simply, force is a mass multiplied by acceleration. I will leave this special place for the physicist in the comments. This acceleration is what weightlifters work so hard to achieve. It is allows to snatch a monster barbell and use technique to throw it over his head. And it is the acceleration that allows the athlete Abdul Al Qasimi to perform powerful muscle ups and fly over the bar. Here is how famous Chinese weightlifter Lu Xiao Jun works on the explosive power of his legs. In English, there are three words that describe strength. It is force, strength and power. Let me decipher. The generalized word strength includes the ability to apply force. At the same time, force helps to overcome the maximum possible resistance, while power is a word describing the ability to apply force at a high speed, which is explosive power. Here is a newspaper describing this difference. So in weightlifting, in addition to the standard squats and deadlifts, they use power moves such as snatch, push press and panda pull. For those who do not know, it's such an explosive pull of a barbell to the chin. If you google this exercise, you will get funny faces on the stop frames. And of course, the panda pull is performed with just huge weights. Weightlifters are also widely used auxiliary exercises, such as the jumps I showed you. For example, Lucia Jun can easily jump 3 meters long from a standing in position, and his vertical jump is 80 centimeters. All these movements combined help Olympic athletes not just pump muscles and develop strength, but turn on their whole body and apply it in one single moment, demonstrating that very cosmic level of explosive power. Of course, explosive power is widely used not only in those sports in which there are weights. Let's look at a few applications in those sports where additional weight is not necessary. For example, in MMA, I found a great footage of how fighters train and it is very different from the usual training in the gym. All these movements are aimed at developing speed and, as in the case of powerlifting, using the whole body as efficiently as possible. In calisthenics, there are also a lot of uses for explosive power. It can be jumps in a planche with the clubs, any dynamic elements, muscle ups, push ups in a handstand with clubs and much more. By the way, explosive power adds spectacularity to ordinary elements. Here is an example of reaction to my friend Andrew. In one of the gyms in Indonesia. This is without a doubt the most insane and ridiculous fucking shit I've seen in my life. I've never got myself saying, oh shit, so many times during a work during a one hour workout. That's that deserves a fucking Explosive strength is perfectly described by a famous Bruce Lee quote, this one. After all, the more time you take to learn one skill, the more you practice it, the higher your explosive power will be. Explosive power is absolutely not about balance, it's about focus. When you train your whole body to maximize force in one particular movement. For example, the famous phrase, you can't jump higher than your head, was destroyed by Evan Unger seven years ago, setting a world record. And there are a lot of applications of explosive 
explosive power in absolutely different sport. Let's take for example arm wrestling, where the main role is of course played by statics, but explosive power is extremely important. Here is one of the examples. And here is another example of Kazakh Talgat Aktaev, who is so fast that as someone wrote in the comments, the whole highlights video finished in 37 seconds. But don't forget that explosive strength has one very significant disadvantage, and of course I'm talking about injuries. I remember when I first studied explosive muscle-ups back in 2011, and very badly sprayed my biceps, so much so that I recovered for a long two months, because I couldn't quit training at that moment, and was obsessed with calisthenics and various elements. In addition, I was preparing for the competitions and even used freezing spray to not feel pain while performing the elements. So I know firsthand how easily it is to get injured during explosive training. But I got off easy. This guy was much less lucky. He tore his biceps while performing a dynamic element and had to have surgery. Full recovery took almost half a year. In order not to turn this video into a real hardcore, I will not show you injuries from weightlifting, because this is what can easily shock you. Exactly the same situation with arm wrestling, believe me. You do not want to live with this information in your head, so I'd better briefly tell you how to avoid it. Imagine that this is your muscle, and it is very hard to tear it under the normal tension. But if you apply speed, as you can see, it is not very difficult. And only thing that can save you from injuries is elasticity of your muscle. And of course, warming up before training itself. Here is five main points that caused it. First one is a poor warm-up. As experienced athletes, we always think that we can do certain elements whenever we want, just because someone asked us to. But the reality is that sooner or later, you will find yourself in a situation where you will definitely get injured. The second point is that neglect of stretching. I know, such things is this rule to do extremely unpleasant, but it's necessary. The third point is overtraining. It is not obvious, but when your muscles are sore and have not fully recovered, it is 70% easier to get injured than when you are training fresh. Fourth is a lack of sleep. And fifth point is much more suitable for beginners, is a lack of base. When you rush to the complex elements without working properly on the underlying exercises. For example, you learn explosive muscle-ups having barely mastered the usual ones. Of course, of course, injuries are not the reason not to train explosive power. Just take into account the mentioned above points, because if you are serious about bringing your elements to the perfection, or if you are engaged in any other speed and strength sports, you definitely need to train this characteristic. We talked about the specifics of explosive strength training, detailed schemes and exercises in one of our previous episodes, which we recommend you to watch right now to avoid making mistakes and take your skills to a completely different level.